Hey geeks, if you are a creative geek like me and you actually wanted to learn how to create content on YouTube and other places on the internet, then join my Go Content Creators Group where you would get access to 30 free videos and more continuing content for all their creative geeks out there. And the best part of it is, all of this is free. All you have to do is simply go to the link below, head over to our page, and join my Go Content Creators Group. Thanks a lot, and I will see you on the other side. Hey, welcome to another episode of GeekOutdoors.com. Being a Linux user for more than 10 years after leaving Windows, I see very few reasons for me to actually ever go back to Windows. However, if I actually had to be objective about it, are there things that I actually miss about Windows? And the answer is yes. And so today, I'm going to be giving you my top five things that I actually miss about Windows after moving to Linux. Now, these are my own personal reasons, and so they might be a little controversial for people who really love Linux, okay? So let's go ahead and start with number five, and that is mass adoption, okay? So what I mean by this is whenever you go anywhere, whether it's your work, public, school, coffee shops, it doesn't matter. Most people are either going to be using Microsoft Windows or Apple's Mac OS. So why would this even matter? Well, it kind of matters sometimes whenever you're somewhere and like you are the only person using this operating system and so you really can't relate with a lot of people because they don't even know what you're actually using or even know what you're talking about. Now obviously we have the internet where we could actually connect with a lot of people who actually use Linux. However, it would be really nice for you to be able to talk to people out in the real world who actually use Linux just like as you do. At least here in the United States where it's pretty much rare for you to meet anybody uh, who actually uses Linux out in the real world. Okay, so let's go ahead and get to number four and that is more support options. Now, whenever you are in the Linux world, you get used to solving problems, okay, which is a great thing, you know, whenever you have issues with your Linux operating system, you're usually going to be able to find the answers on your own, and the majority of times you kind of have to. Whereas in the whole Microsoft Windows world, there are so many support options, from paid options to free options to various communities uh, to a lot of hardware vendors that have so much support because obviously Microsoft Windows is the most dominant desktop operating system. And so for people who don't really want to spend a lot of time, uh, I myself included, sometimes I don't really want to go spend hours and hours trying to figure something out. Sometimes it's just a lot more convenient to have a support option that will actually take care of that for you. Okay, so let's go ahead and get to number three and that is more software options okay now this is something that is not you know uh, unknown to anybody who actually uses microsoft windows you just simply have a lot more software available uh, because microsoft windows is so dominant there's pretty much nothing that is not available on microsoft windows whereas on the linux world although it's getting better not every piece of software is available especially for people who use more commercial software uh, a lot of that is primarily made for the Microsoft Windows platform okay so let's go ahead and get to number two and that is more hardware options okay say what you will about Microsoft Windows but one thing that you really cannot dispute is the fact that hardware it's just more available more things hardware wise are made for the Microsoft Windows platform you know, if you're into 3D printing, if you're into VR, or even just printers themselves, you know, it's still a lot easier for you to find any type of hardware that you want on the Microsoft Windows platform. Like 99% of all the hardware is going to work on your Microsoft Windows operating system, where that's simply not the case in Linux. So what is the number one thing that I miss about Windows after moving to Linux? That is compatibility. Now, compatibility is something that is absolutely huge, okay? And I really feel that this is still a problem within Linux uh, because, you know, much like what I just mentioned about hardware and software, it needs to be compatible, okay? And with the Microsoft Windows platform, since it's so dominant, the chances of you not having compatibility is pretty small, you know? Whereas in the whole Linux world, it really depends, okay? And so those are my top five things that I actually miss about Windows after moving to Linux and as I said this was something that was really difficult for me because I really feel like there's very few things at least for me personally that would make me want to go back to Microsoft Windows but I had to take an objective approach about it and that's actually what came to my mind and so if you had any thoughts about my list or maybe some of the things that you miss about Windows if you are primarily a Linux desktop user then be sure to leave that in the comments area below 
And as always, if you did get value out of these videos, be sure to subscribe. And if you wanted to support my channel further, you could do that at patreon.com forward slash geek outdoors. Thanks for checking out this episode. And as always, if you like these videos, be sure to click on the subscribe button. And for full written content, audio content, and additional geek stuff, head over to geekoutdoors.com and I'll see you outdoors on the very next episode.